To ensure proper function of your hydro wave and prevent injury, read and follow all written safety information, warnings, and instructions provided with your hydro wave before you begin. Assemble your hydro wave indoors on a flat, dry surface. We recommend using our floor protecting machine mat. Keep the touchscreen out of direct sunlight. When assembled, you'll need at least 2 feet or 61 centimeters of clearance on all sides. Test your full range of motion to determine if you need more clearance. Make sure the 12 foot or 3.7 meter power cord can reach a power outlet. Pick an outlet with the same configuration as the plug. Do not use an adapter. Finally, make sure you have strong Wi-Fi reception in your chosen area. You also have the option to connect the Hydro Wave to the internet via an Ethernet cable. Part 1. Unpack the box. With the This Side Up label facing up, open the box carefully. Remove all parts and small boxes from the Hydro Wave box. Unpack everything and remove all packaging material. The front frame is heavy, so please take care when lifting. You'll notice the front frame is attached to a cardboard stand with cable ties. Leave the stand attached for now. It will help balance the frame during assembly. Part 2. Attach the front foot. For this part, you'll need the front frame, front foot, hex key, washers, and front foot bolts. With the front frame still attached to the cardboard stand, locate the bolt holes at the top. This is where you'll attach the front foot. If you accidentally remove the cardboard stand, you might need a friend to hold the frame while you attach the front foot. Grab the front foot and align it on the front frame. You'll flip the front frame over later. So at this point, you should be looking at the underside of the front foot. Thread a front foot bolt with a washer. Use the long end of the hex key to screw the washer and bolt into the front foot. Repeat for the other bolts. Carefully cut the cable ties to remove the cardboard stand from the front frame. Be careful not to cut the handle strap or scratch the rower. Flip the front frame over so that the front foot sits flat on the floor. This front frame is heavy and bulky, so please be careful when lifting and enlist help if you need to. Part 3. Connect the frames. For the next step, you'll need the front frame, rear frame, hex key, and the frame bolt. Line up the front and rear frames with the feet facing away from each other. Lift the inner ends of both frames. Hook the bottom of the front frame on the silver pin in the bottom of the rear frame. Slowly lower the frames together until the hook at the top of the rear frame settles in place. Take care not to pinch your fingers between the frames. It might take a few tries to get the alignment right. When done correctly, only the front foot and rear foot should touch the floor. Use the hex key to secure the frames with the frame bolt. Part 4. Attach the footrests. For this part, you'll need the connected frames, footrest tubes, footrests, hex key, and the four footrest bolts. Slide each footrest tube into a footrest support hole. Hold the footrest tubes in place with one hand. With the other hand, slide a footrest onto the footrest tubes. Caution! Take care not to pinch your fingers between the frames. Make sure the numbers on the footrest point upwards. Repeat with the other footrest. Push the footrest together while keeping your fingers clear of the moving parts. Use the hex key to secure the footrests with two footrest bolts on each side. We recommend using the long end of the hex key. Part 5. Position the handle. For this section, you'll need the connected frames. Carefully remove any packaging from the handle, and then cut the plastic cable tie that attaches the handle to the front frame. Be careful not to cut the handle strap or scratch the roller. Pull the handle over the top of the front of the front frame. Make sure the handle strap lies flat and is not twisted. Place the handle in the handle rest. Part 6. Attach the monitor arm. For this section, you'll need the connected frames, monitor arm, hex key, monitor arm bolt, and monitor arm pin. Ensure that the cables are laying towards the handle side of the front frame. With the exposed face of the arm facing down, Align the holes in the bottom of the monitor arm with the holes in the top of the front frame. While holding the monitor arm with one hand, insert the monitor arm bolt into the larger hole. Use the hex key to tighten the bolt. Finally, insert the monitor arm pin into the smaller hole. The monitor arm should now be fully attached to the front frame. Run the cable up the center of the arm and snap it into the lower clip, then the upper clip. 
Part 7. Attach the monitor. For this section, you'll need the attached monitor arm, monitor, and two thumb screws. Locate the slot on the back of the monitor just above the triangular inset. Carefully slide the tab on the monitor arm plate into the slot on the back of the monitor. Make sure the monitor's weight is fully supported before letting go. Use the two thumb screws to secure the monitor in place. Plug the cables hanging from the top of the monitor arm into the back of the monitor. Ensure the cables are fully connected prior to use. A loose connection may result in loss of power during a workout. Part 8. Attach the seat. For this section, you'll need the connected frames and the seat. At the very end of the rear frame, locate the tab at the base of the end cap. Pull the tab out while sliding the cap up. With the ridge facing forward and the scoop facing backward, slide the seat onto the rear frame. The seat may slide forward. This is normal. Slide the end cap down onto the rear frame. Part 9. Connect to power. For this section, you'll need the assembled rower and the power cord. Locate the power switch and outlet on the front frame just above the front foot. Connect the power cord to the power outlet. Ensure the power cord is fully connected prior to use. A loose connection may result in loss of power and resistance during a workout. Connect the other end of the power cord to a wall outlet. Toggle the power switch to on. The zero indicates the off position, and the one indicates the on position. The Hydro Wave is designed as an always-on device. You do not need to turn it off between uses. Just tap the touchscreen to wake up your Hydro Wave. You did it! We can't wait to row with you! Consult your healthcare provider before beginning any new exercise routine. Incorrect or excessive exercise can result in serious injury. The Hydro Wave, its instructions, and its guidance do not constitute and are not intended as a substitute for medical advice, diagnosis, treatments, or other professional advice. Reliance on any information provided through Hydro is solely at your own risk. Refer to the Hydro website for maintenance instructions. Proper maintenance is essential to ensure safe function and long life of the Hydro Wave. Keep children and pets away from the Hydro Wave. For your safety, never store the Hydro Wave uprights without the Hydro Wave vertical anchor.